Very shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rechakudash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, that's not His name. His name was in the ancient Hebrew, and there was no J sound. There was no J sound, nor was there any U sound in the ancient Hebrew. His true name is Yahweh Shai. Now, this video is going to be dealing with the fact that this this world and this particular this system is built upon oppression. Okay, it's built upon oppression for you Israelites especially, but it's built upon oppression for the whole world. Okay, because if you go back a hundred years, the things that people are paying now, the things that are going on now, the legislations that have been passed would never have been able to have been passed 100 years ago. Even going back to like something as simple as the, the seat belt, that would not have been implemented. There was a time when they were they implementing that and men were staunchly against that. Men were staunchly saying, no, we're not doing that. That's stupid. Well, how are you going to tell me what when I could wear my seat belt, when I have to do in, what I have to do in my own property? You see? Because men have had more... Um, of a, of a fighting spirit, if you will, back then. This is why they put all this fluoride in the water, uh, these plastics and these different things, which, which builds up estrogen in men because they don't want men to be men. Because men, they they react to things, they, um, they have critical thinking. They critically an analyze things using logic. Okay, and if things don't make sense, men will fight against those things. Okay, but women, they're just, they're, they're docile, you know, they're, they're followers, you know, whatever the government says, they're going to, they're going to be down with, it. you know, they don't have the power, the fortitude or the courage, you know, to, 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 to stand up against these things as a whole, but men have the, have the courage and the fortitude and the testosterone, you know, and, and, and ultimately it's the spirit, rather only she has more testosterone, ultimately the spirit within you is what makes you a man and what makes you real, Okay. Or what makes you a woman You know It's not about Necessarily testosterone Which that You know that's, that's part of the science of things But It's deeper than that You know Because we all have Spirits Because them women That are acting like Butch Dykes That done took the uh, You know Took uh, testosterone shots Or whatever the case may be When Great tribulation Comes on the earth They're gonna go back To being women man They're gonna go back To acting like Feminine women Scared Vulnerable all right, that's what they're gonna do. All right, so <laughs> no, they can act now because you're in the you're, it, it, nothing is happening. All right, in other words, it's not martial law. The society's not break broken down. Although we had a taste of that in the, in that whole uh, event that happened, but you know, um, and I'm speaking about the C19, but you know, it's about to get real. You know, to the point where you can't fake the funk. It's either you're about it or you're not about it, man. You know, so they're gonna go back to being women, man. So the whole thing is is that um is that the, this earth is built upon uh, oppression, especially of you Israelites. So the thing is that they didn't want men to be men, so that they can you know pass certain legislations, they can do certain things, and that's why they put all this bread and circuses in your face, also to distract the people. Okay, to distract the people. That's all the distraction, all these different events. When you see something popping up on the news constantly, you know behind closed doors they're passing all kind of uh, legislations and the WEF is doing something, this, this organization is doing something, all right? And when you look into the things that they're doing, they're very draconian. Okay, as it says in Revelations, it says that, uh, you know, he had two horns like a lamb and spake as a dragon. So they're coming to you in a meek way, a soft way, acting like they're coming to help you they just want to you know the best for you but in the things that they're saying the legislation they're passing is all draconian see you could say to you could tell somebody hey i would like to kill you you can say it in a nice way <laughs> like uh like jeffrey dahmer you can say he said it in a nice way in that movie you know yeah i'm gonna eat your heart you know he said it in a nice way okay but you know what what is the words that's coming out of their mouth it's draconian it's dragon like it's cruel okay because dragons are known for being cruel all right so 
at the end of the day, you know, they they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing, and, and they had to do it piecemeal. They had to do it bit by bit. They had to do it bit by bit because they knew that people would revolt. Men would revolt if they could if they if they kept doing it if they did it all up front. You know, saying, oh, you know what? Uh, in emergency, we can take your cars, we can take your homes, we can take this and that, we can take that and that, we can take such and such and such and such. All right. By the way, we're gonna raise up taxes 20%. No, they do a, a piecemeal, bit by bit. Oh, the 1% this year, 2% that year, 3% this year, right? Before you know it, you're barely making enough to, to, to buy, a, to, to, to make ends meet, man. You're constantly behind bills. This is how the society is built up. It's set up to be oppressed. First of all, this place was a place of punishment. It wasn't a place of, um, of, of fun and fun and, and, and games for you, Jakes. Micah 2 and 10 says, this is not our rest because it is polluted, man. This is not our rest. This is not a place where we came to, to rest and to relax. There's really no relaxing in this place. You gotta constantly be moving, all right? How many Israelites you know that are financially free? How many people do you know that are financially free? And if you do know a person that's financially free, more time than likely, it's an Edomite. More time than likely, it's a it's an Edomite, okay? Or or another nation, or another nation, you know. But that's very very rare, man. Very very rare. Okay. You see what I'm saying to you? Be and, and another thing, Jake thinks, oh, yo, if I work hard enough, if I if I um. If I uh, manifest this and manifest that, well, that goes back to witchcraft, okay? That all of us, I'm gonna be financially free. No, 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 you have to understand, you're under a curse, man. The Lord put Israel under a curse. You jakes are under a curse, man. I just came from the ticket office, man. This earlier, man. And you know who's the majority of the people in there? Israelites, Levites, Benjamites. Israelites are up in there, man, okay? But there's also a lot of Edomites in there. But the majority of the people that are in there paying tickets and you know, stressed out. And, and I was looking at Jake. I'm like, yo, Jake is, yo, Jake has demons. Jake has demons on them. Jake is completely stressed out and broken down in this society. And I said, yo, Jake needs the, the Yahweh Shai. He needs Yahweh Shai. He needs the kingdom. All right. And then on top of that, you're facing the oppressions of this earth and in this society. And then your woman is Satan. And then your woman is the devil. You don't even come home to a cooked meal that no woman, uh, you know, uh, trying to take care of you, whatever to get rubbing your feet. No, no, no. You got, you got hell to pay. You got this. Uh, where have you been? This and that. And giving you fucking attitude, man. You waking up in the fucking morning to go to work, and this bitch is giving you fucking attitude, man. You understand what I'm saying to you? So this is what you jigs got to look forward to in Babylon the Great, man. Babylon the Great, Canada, all right, because I'm up, I'm in Canada, I'm in Montreal in Canada, okay, Babylon the Great, Canada, London, wherever you Jakes are at, the, the, Jamaica, all right, uh, Haiti, wherever you Israelites are at, okay, Puerto Rico, can't forget the Latin tribes, the so-called Mexicans, but especially Judah, man, I'm going to say this, especially the king, the kingdom of Judah, because the kingdom of Judah, they got curse on top of curse, man. I'm telling you right now, man. All them, all the tribes got cursed. All them, but guess what? Them Latin tribe women are more in order than you, than them Judite women, than them Benjamite women, than them Levite women. All of them are de the devil because there's something that comes with being uh, that that having that look. They identify with the, with the, uh, Judah. They identify with the Judite woman. Okay, the, the so-called uh, African American woman, which you got Judites all around the world, by the way, that look like different nations and so on and so forth. Right, that are even amongst the the, the the Caribbean people, that are even amongst, you know, that are all around the earth. Okay, it says Judah's all around the four corners of the earth. That's why Judah has such a big land. But anyways, it says that uh, they identify with with these um uh, with these these so-called African American women. So the thing that's that's being that that's they're they're following is a culture, and it's a culture that was given to you by the serpent. And like I always say, women are impressionable, man. I mean, you know, women are impressionable. So these things, they actually amalgamate these things within their, their character, okay? 
Like, uh, like the, um, and that's what Esau wants. That's why they set up that movie, The Woman King. They didn't set that up so you, you, you Israelite women can learn how to be mothers. And no, no, they, they put, they portray an image of you, of, of, of uh, the, the negative image of you, 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 uh, you so-called black woman. Okay, which is how you so-called black women are. It's not like it's a foreign concept. This is how you act because this is what they, they um, molded you to be. Okay, so you can't say, oh, it's just the image. No, no, it's not just the image. I know, I know them. I see them. I know them. I have people in them in my family. I know how they act, man. This is how they get down, man. And then they might be deep down inside. They might be kind of decent inside. They might have some decency in them. But then they're actually embarrassed to be decent. This is how, this is the witchcraft of the serpent. This is the witchcraft that you de demon, that you, um, that you women are under, man. They're actually embarrassed to be uh, to cater to their husband. You could say, you could tell, man. And they make the plan. I'm gonna make the plate. But then they got a smart, uh, they got a smart remark to make, man. I seen that with my parents. I seen that with, you know, it, it, you know the, the the older women in the family, man. Them older Latin tribe women ain't man, that's nothing to them, man. All right, that's that's to them. I said, okay, well that's normal. That's the husband. You know, do that. I'm talking about the older Latin tribe women, man. So. That kind of trickled down to the to the to the younger woman to some extent. Although all these women are out of order, man. But I'm trying to uh, show you the point that the kingdom of Judah, the so-called dark-skinned tribes, you so-called uh, African Americans, you so-called Jamaicans, Caribbean people, all right. You so-called um, uh, 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 what do you call it, Haitians, all right. You are under the biggest curse, man. You are trust me. You are under the biggest curse, starting with the tribe of Judah. All right, I'm looking around, brother. I didn't see too much. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, listen, man. I didn't see too much other tribes. I see mostly the kingdom of Judah in there, bro. You know, and I said, yo, they're, they're under a major, major curse, man. All right, but don't worry. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is gonna switch that all around, man. Yahweh Shai is gonna switch that all around, uh, starting with his elect, man. The elect is the ones that's going to get the victory, man. You other, you other Israelites, you're going to continue to be under a curse, and then you're going to trust in the devil, you're going to trust in the serpent, and then you're going to be um, bitten, all right, and wounded unto death by the serpent, man. All right? Spiritually speaking. Because you're going to be looking for him to help you, and he's not going to help you, man. That's why it says trust in an unfaithful man in the time of trouble. It's like, uh, you know, a broken tooth and a, and a, and a uh, uh, what is that, a leg out of joint. You can't do anything with a leg out of, trust me, I had a leg problems. I, you know, I still got some leg uh, issues, but trust me, I had a major leg problem, man. All right, where I had to go to camp on a, on crutches, man. I was in the camp on crutches, you know, a while back, and it was it was crazy. Every time I was with camp, when the camp finished, my foot was swollen up like a damn elephant's foot, man. That ain't no joke, man, okay? That's one of the worst things, man. I had that, then I had goddamn back pain, man. All right, so that shit ain't no joke. And I had a tooth problem. So that shit is not a, not a tooth problem, but like a, what you gonna call it? Maybe like a, like a toothache, you know, which, which many people had that, okay? You know, which my, my two teeth are good, you know what I'm saying? Through the spirit of power, y'all by shit got shot. The water, y'all by shit got shot, okay? But when there's a, you know, when there's certain issues that come up, I don't eat too much sugar, because then sometimes it starts to hurt. Which, when you have cavities, all you gotta do is eat, um, take some of that clove, all right? Get clove, the powder clove, put it, mix it in water, you know, put that in your mouth and, and, sh and um, swish it and spit it out, man. Okay, you're gonna feel the pain, you might feel some pain, but that's it, gonna, it's gonna start to heal it, man. All right? So, anyways, so, I'm, you know, so that's the point, man. That's the point. You jigs are under a curse, this place is built on oppression. That's why everywhere you turn there's tickets and tickets. Oh, there's a guy with a meter. That whole shit is satanic, man. And the Lord is gonna destroy you. You uh, the, the most high is gonna bring judgment on you, police officers, too, man. Okay, because you're some of the most wicked, evil people on the earth, man. Going around acting like you're some upstanding citizens, man, upstanding people. You are some of the most wicked, corrupt people there is on the earth. Uh, most of you are worse than the than the mostly, I'm gonna tell you something. The majority of you are worse than the criminals. Because you're actual hypocrites, man. And the Lord hates hypocrites, man. 
All right? You're actual complete hypocrites, which I ain't going to get into that right now, man. All right? And a lot of you have put hell on the men of the Lord. A lot of the men of the Lord have been, uh, you know, whatever, have been, you know, locked up, have been, you know, whatever the case may be. They got tickets based upon who? Based upon you, man. And the scripture says that uh, anyone that offends one of these little ones that believeth on me, that believe on Yahweh Shai, and we believe on Yahweh Shai, man. It is better than he drop, jump into a goddamn uh, lake with a millstone tied around his neck and go to the bottom of the sea than to offend one of these little ones, man. You see that? So, so you you have you have a uh, hell to pay, man. And that's not a, a physical thing. That's your how about Shimei Al Shai? He's gonna make it physical. Your how about Shimei Al Shai is gonna has the angels, man, to bring death upon you, man, and your families, man. You think this is a joke, man? See, people think shit's a joke until people start dying, man. All right. This place is a a place a, a hellhole, man. And the more you're in this place, the longer you're in this place, the more you you grow in wisdom, the more you start to hate this place. So, anyways, with that, I'll say shalom, y'all. By shimmy, I'll shy by shimmy. Rock a thumb to the uh, rock a thumb to the elect. Shalom.